Greetings, my people. I gotta start. Look, I have a little timer. I'm gay. Here's my timer. I started. I hate when people go live and they're just, they just sit there for like 10 minutes. You are an idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here a little longer, but let people get on. You are not prepared. And they look in there and they look like, I mean, I do make sure I have no boogers. Surprise, motherfucker. You guys ever catch yourself looking in the mirror when you stop somewhere? See if you got any boogers, and then people are watching you do that. So is it worse if they find you looking for boogers, or is it worse if they see a booger? Oh my God, who the hell cares? There's a topic right there. What do you say if you see someone who has a booger? Like a little thing right there. How could this happen to me? Do you tell them if you know them? Do you tell them if it's a stranger? I want someone to tell me, please. If I have one hanging out, tell me. Ha! Fuck! Ah! There's an echo there. What's up, neighbor? Head forth, neighbors! Guys, I researched, or I did the math. <laughs> And uh, 245 years old. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday to you. Being free is good. Uh, I was thinking about as I took a little jog this morning. Being free. If you want to truly get to the next level in anything, whether it be relationships, health, wellness, business, internet porn, happiness, whatever. If you want to get to that next level, a lot of people wait for somebody else to hop on and they wait for support. They wait for positivity. You're not going to probably get it. If you want to better your life in something, most times, you have to do it alone and don't be afraid to lean in and do it alone because then once you get it alone once you start getting people on board cool you start getting people not on board cool you get haters you get cynical you get lovers whatever cool you figure it out yourself it's your thing you've completed your circle so nothing can get into that circle you know nothing can penetrate that and stop you so don't be afraid to do it on your own all right guys Little update with Track Studios, I have not heard from them. So when I don't hear from somebody, as much as I think it'd be a cool step, I start thinking about the next step. And here's what I've come up with. Check it out, you guys. Check this out. You guys are gonna wanna French me. I'm not saying you're gonna French me or I'll let you French me, but you're gonna wanna French me. Ha! Gay! So not that I'm not gonna go if they get back to me and it's all good. If I never hear back from them, what am I gonna do? Well, here we go. And even if is cool and we start working together I think this will still be cool to do check this out I want to bring back retro ass keg parties you guys up for a total party Toga! Toga! if someone out there wants to host the Darren Yates show with my crew will come in a few co-hosts we'll shoot a bunch of cool stuff at your location whatever location you guys have in mind let me know send me ideas let's do it keg house party on location the Darren Yates show you know, I'm just thinking out loud, um, something that's going to be funny or awesome, you know, like uh, rich houses. I'm rich, bitch! Or someone with a big backyard and a pool or trailer parks. White people taco night. We're getting taco shells from the grocery store. Or if you live in a tent or I don't know, just something, you know, I'm not saying anything about any of that. It's just life, you know, and anything with a vibe and something that's gonna make people be entertained or smile or whatever. So if you guys have any ideas, who wants to bring back a keg party? I asked my wife what she thought about the idea. She's like, I don't think anyone's doing keg parties anymore. I'm like, exactly, we are, I am. Holy Santa Claus shit. We'll have the camera set up, the keg will be right here. But here we go, another idea. The keg sits right by one of the cameras. So whoever wants a kegger, wanna pump that baby. I'm gonna pump this motherfucker real hard. <laughs> Bad baby. And fill your baby up. You got to give us some kind of crazy comment or some kind of crazy advice or show us your bush. Look at my bush. It's bushy. God damn it, Bar! Show us something crazy. We'll blurt it out later. We're at a house party. We're all adults. We can see it. Who cares? It's not a sex party. We can see your bush though without everybody getting horny or judgmental. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, it's just a bush, or it's no bush, it's a landing strip, or it's a medium bush, or he's bald as a baby or a sheep, who cares? There we go, we got the keg cam. The keg cam. If someone chooses to not be part of the DYS, it's their loss. Come on, Twain! Come on, Twain! <laughs> he knows what to say to fire me up. Guys, I know I've been hosting this show, I'm getting tired, I need a beer. I go over to a keg, I you know, I show my my uh trimness. I'm trim, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a bush. Shut up and sit down, you bald fuck. Sometimes I have a bush. I go over there, I'll show my trimness and I'll just chug this baby. Pretend this is a beer. You been drinking? No. Well, ten beers. <laughs> ah. Oh, happy fourth god, guys. <laughs>
Amy, what's up, Amy? What's up, Heather? Okay, I'm at seven minutes. Look, look at my dark little timer, guys. <laughs> seven minutes. You guys, I want that to be a thing, though. I don't want. I want people to know if they, when they watch my stuff, man, it's gonna be cool. Hopefully, it's quick. I'm, I'm out. I don't want to waste your time. If you have a location, maybe your job. Maybe you want to get. Maybe you hate your job and you're ready to leave and you want to get fired. We can help you get fired. It'll be so awesome. It'll be great for the show, and we help you get fired. Trust me, I know how to get fired. You're fired. In a cool way to make them want to pay you a little bit of something, something. A little severance or a little help out with you. You know what I'm saying? What you say? What's up, Amy? What's up, Rob? Happy 4th, man. Love you guys. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. This is fun, you guys. What else? I got my little notes. Uh, you guys, you know me, man. Pretty open. Here's my notes. Written on my son's birthday card. My son turned 10 yesterday. Here's all my notes. 4th. Free is good, Darren. <laughs> Moving forward, yeah. I said it all, we're good. You guys got anything else for me here? Fire it at me, come on. Come on. Who here has a bush? Who here has a big bush? Don't lie. Hey, neighbor, happy fourth. Do you have a bush? Trim? Cool. Run. I'm part Democrat here, I'm part Republican here, I'm part free spirit here, I'm part Whack job here, I'm part, you know, I don't give a fuck about anything else here, guy. I'm a little bit all over the place, you know, but I'm respectful. Do your thing, lean into it, lean into it. When in doubt about doing what makes you happy, do more of it, quadruple it. Holy shit, I'm gonna come. Make you happy first, and then you can deal with the rest of the world, you know what I'm saying? In a better way, in, in the way you're supposed to. Now this is rock and roll, devil's horns, it's rock and roll. This is I love you, right? All right, guys, later, talk soon.